What's up everybody, it's me back up with a brand new video and in today's video we're going to be doing a part 2 on the Rudev's Battle Royale tutorial and in today's video we're going to be covering how to add gun sounds, how to add skins, how to add other cosmetics like backpacks and I'll be also telling you guys how to add guns and how to start a new season of the battle pass and how to give yourself or other people tickets or aka the currency in the game so yeah let's get straight into this video. So the first thing I'll be telling you guys how to do is to add skins. So what you want to do, don't ignore this skins folder. This is actually from an old version of the game. Uh, just keep it there. I, it might be linked to a script, so I won't recommend deleting it. But just go to customization that has everything here. So you want to go to outfits. And actually, before you do this, you want to shut off the GUI. If I could find it. Yeah, turn that off. And then what you want to do is you want to, if you want, when, you want, when you want to make a new outfit, just make a folder here. Make a folder, and as you can see, every other thing has like pants and a shirt. And I'll just go on the toolbox, I'll find like an outfit, search outfit, find anything. We'll just do this guy for example. And then we'll take this guy's outfit. You gotta just go pants and shirt, copy that, go to back to replicate storage with where customization is, and then go to your new folder. And paste into there, and boom, there you got an outfit. We'll name this guy. This is called Class D, so I'll just name this Class D, some SCP type of thing. Class D. And we're gonna test it here. Oh, yeah, one thing I forgot to say while recording this part of the video is that when you put a new skin in the customization folder, make sure you take that exact customization folder and put it in every other place of the game, like the main game or like a free for all if you made one. So, yeah. And to test it out, we're just gonna go to the shop script. And then like in the default over here, just put like change it to outfits and then just put the name. And uh, yeah, just do, we're going to do class D because that's what we called it. And now we can test it. Now we're in, let's go check the shop. And yeah, it's there. We can buy it. And uh, yeah, that's how you do skins. Now I'm going to tell you guys how to do hats. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to customization and then get, I'd use the adventure, adventure hat if you want to make a hat. So just copy it put it in the workspace and as you can see you have it right here and then I got this little top hat got from the toolbox if it's like a, uh, a gear like this then you want to just copy the special mesh and then paste it all the information from that into the mesh part I'll demonstrate that right now you want to go to mesh ID from the special math the special mesh in the handle of the, of the uh, like the gear or hat and then go into the go to the adventure hat or whatever you want to call it and just paste the mesh ID, not this one, mesh part I meant, sorry about that. And then paste that there. You also wanna paste the texture ID too, just so it doesn't look like absolute garbage. You can see, there we go, got our top hat right there. And uh, yeah, and we're gonna test it now. We're gonna go, put it back in the customization and I put it somewhere else. Let me put it back in there. And rename it something else like top hat and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it go back to shop script this one already has hats so I'll just do there we go as you can see it's right here and boom it works so this will be a short one I'll show you guys how to do emotes here for emotes these are all just animation IDs and all you have to do is just Control C, Control V, make another one, and I'll make this one called like Dance Two or something. And then what you want to do is you want to just you could find like uh, a dance, or I'll just search Fortnite dance, and they have like a, they have like a little kit that you could use. Yeah, right here, a little kit, and then wait for it to drag in here, and then you want to open the animation bit editor, animation editor, and click load. Like just like it says and then it will show you all the animations here so let's see we have to do the crackdown yeah as you can see it works here and then just and then just uh want to publish it right after that and if you have it if you have it on a group just make sure to put it as your group and when you're uh importing it and then go to Go to your dance two or whatever you want to call it. 
and just paste the ID there. And then we're actually going to put it in the shop just to test it too. There you go. As you can see, it's working right here. And that's how you do your dances. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do guns. There's actually two ways you could do this. You could either you could either use the hat route like we did last time, and use just copy the mesh ID and the texture ID to the assault rifle on a new weapon, and or you could just use a new make a new mesh part and then drag that into the model and just weld this, weld the mesh part part zero part one, and then weld that to the actual gun itself and then make this transparent. Just put the transparency to one. And boom, it's like you got this weapon. And then just rename this weapon, and then you're good to go. And then when you add a new weapon, you just want to add it into the item spawn script so it spawns in and everything. Just copy like one, copy one of these lines, put it right here, and name it like AKM or something like that. So uh, yeah, and this is the spawn rate. I'll change the spawn rate. It's pretty cool about this game. Like if you want just all AKMs, just do this, and then set these all other ones to zero. So uh, yeah, it's how you do it. Click the gun, this gun's like specs, go to config, and you can change everything you want here. Like the size ammo it takes, the type of type of uh, type of weapon it is, like a gun or a sword or something. And you can change the magazine, fire rate, rate recoil, the range, and all the stuff like that. Also to change the gun sounds, here are where the sounds are, just open up the weapon, go to the assault rifle or mesh, and you'll see the under the muzzle will be the fire sound, and then just in the thing will be equip and reload sound, so that's how you do it. Then to change seasons, what you want to do is you want to go to service group service and go to ranking. And for the battle pass, you want to make a whole another game pass. And if you don't know how to do it, just reference the old video. It'll show you how to make a game pass for the battle pass. And then copy the old pass and put it as the previous pass. And then put the new ID. I didn't make one. Just put your new ID in current pass. And then for ranking, you can change the current season to 2 or 3 or 4, whatever season you're going to. And uh, boom, that's how it works. Last but not least, I'm going to show you guys how to give yourself currency. I know a lot of you guys were asking about it. And basically, to give yourself currency, you want to go to your dev console, go to the Roblox button up here, go to options, click developer console, click server, and then go to the description and I'll give you guys this little code here. And put in your like notepad or something and put your username in this little box right here. And then Put, put it in the put it in the dev console and you can change whatever value how much tickets you want like I'll just give myself I'm not gonna be greedy I'll give myself a thousand click enter you can also do this for your friends too like if you want your friend username to get to get stuff just put his username right there as you can see it got a thousand tickets right here and yes it does save too so you can buy, like, you can buy our, uh, our emotes that we had before also buy these too actually I don't have enough but uh, yeah and also, if you want to test out your um, your uh, marketplace things, you can just click these and test them. Make sure they work as key. As you can see, it works. So uh, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys want like a, maybe a part three, if you guys want me to like, keep going even more in depth by adding even like more stuff, like additional features, like maybe mobile support or controller support, anything like that, just let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to make it for you guys. And I also want to apologize for not uploading and waiting like a year and a half to make it a part two on this video. So. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Without further ado, this is Josh signing out. Peace.